So I woke up this morning dreaming of one of my favorite Thai foods in the whole world, cow soy. But the best place to get it isn't here in Bangkok. It's up in Chiang Mai. So in this video, I'm gonna count down my top five favorite bowls of cow soy in Chiang Mai. And at the end, you're gonna thank me when you visit them yourselves. But first, what is cow soy? It's a soup-like dish that's got boiled egg noodles in the bottom and it's topped with deep fried crispy egg noodles. It's got a coconut curry base that's a bit similar to masaman, but thinner and with its own twang. It's served with shallots, lime, and pickled mustard greens on the side. And once you dump those in and mix it all together, yummy. Now, I got two questions for you guys that I'm gonna ask at the end of the video, but first, let's get right into the list. Coming in at number five is Chef Tao's. This place is located right in the center of Old Town Chiang Mai, and as soon as you walk in, you'll notice that it's a huge indoor-outdoor space. Haley went out to the patio where we saw the local expats enjoying their weekly chess night, but we were here to meet some friends. You might know this guy. <laughs> you wanna catch me? The cow soy here is served up with amazing presentation, but with all the traditional components. It's really delicious, and as day turns to night, you can see that not only the patio lights up with amazing ambiance, but they have a large interior as well. There's water features, and it has the classic Thai style that makes Chiang Mai so special. Before moving on to number four on my list, I managed to catch up with the chef himself. Is this Chef Tao? So what the crab? I'm the chef out here. Yeah, I'm the chef here. it's a great spot, man. Yep, yeah, thank yeah, you. It's, thank you. It's good to see you. So maybe uh, if some if someone's in Chiang Mai, what would what, what would they come in here? What would you recommend from so, the chef um, himself? In in here, we definitely we're gonna uh, recommend you to get the pad thai or khao soy. This is a yellow curry noodle dish, very popular dish in Chiang Mai. So if you want to come, please have a khao soy with the chef out. You will love it. You used to cook all over the place, Four Seasons. Everywhere, everywhere. Anatara. Everywhere. Anantara, uh, Four Seasons. Oversea already. I oh, really? Oversea already. Yeah, so he he makes up the goodies. We just had, we came in, we got four <laughs> bowls of cow soy. <laughs> and uh, it's because... He already I, have it. <laughs> four bowls of cow soy. Yeah, it was, I had a craven, wow. and uh, it was really, really good, man. Thank you. Nice, Thank you. Uh, nice Thank you. northern Thai flavor. It's a cool location too. Yes, that's right. You can you can hang out, you can have some beer here, you can do whatever you want here. I should point out that Chef Tao's is the only place on this list that isn't specifically a cow soy joint. You can get all kinds of good Thai food in at Chef Tao's. Now, for number four on the list, I, I don't even know the name of the place. Yeah, it's that local. Excuse the noise. There's a car shop right here. Sometimes Google Maps just doesn't take you to uh, the exact spot. And when you get there, if you just follow Google Maps, you might have trouble finding the actual place you're trying to find. Depending which way you're coming from, you might not experience the same thing. But sometimes it'll bring you back through this back alley and you'll wonder, can there really be a restaurant here? And then it spits you out at this auto body shop which is right on a highway with giant machinery. What you want to do is swing back out here and you're going to find this spot. And if you're feeling adventurous or if you just want something very, very, very local, then here, let me walk you in. So this is a northern Thai place that specializes in cow soy. And this is place was recommended to all of us by a friend of mine named Nu, um, a Thai girl who's been living here for her entire life, so 30 years. And this is in the part of Chiang Mai known as Lam Pu. And as you'll see, you'll be the only foreigners in here. We got lovely looking cow soy. We're gonna dip some northern sausage in it. Look at this. Oh yeah, and with, every, with all the cow soy, you want to liberally apply the shallots and the mustard greens. So this sausage, this northern sausage here, is uh, right up there with the best I've ever had. And what I like to do, take a look at this, you, you take the sausage and you dip it in the cow soy 
dip it in the cow soy uh, broth. And this is what Northern Thai taste is all about. It's tangy. It's sour. Uh, there's a little bit of spice in the cow soys I like, but not too much. This is a local Thai's lunch spot out here in Lam Pu. And it's, uh, I think, 45 baht or 50 baht per, per dish. So, so really, really good prices, really good flavor. Uh, there's not much else out here, I will say that. So if you come out to this spot, it's just really to get to where uh, a, a local would be hanging out, which Haley and I love to do that. So let us enjoy the rest of this and uh, come on out if you dare. Don't worry, I'm gonna tell you how to find that place and all the places in the list at the end of the video. But let's push ahead to number three and this is where it gets interesting. This place is actually number one on a lot of people's lists, including some of the locals. And to help explain, I'm there now with a local. Yes, so tell us about this place. Okay, so this place is actually really famous, Khao Soi. It's called Khao Soi Masai. As you can see, this place is like crowded right now. It's good for like locals. Every, everyone's come here every morning. And what do you order in there? What's, 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 a, what's a little Leon secret? Give them, oh, a, yeah. give them a secret of what to order. Actually, like, I really like Khao Soi beef. It's really good because the beef is like melting in your mouth and like, yeah, everything is good. And then like, I, I hope you come here and try this Khao Soi because look at that. Yeah, obviously you're gonna have to uh, either wait in line or maybe come just before or just after the lunch rush. We got a number, we got a ticket. I'm gonna take Leon's advice and go in and have the beef and I'll tell you all about it. Loading up our first bite here. Leon's got us with the beef. We both got beef. Ready, Haley? One, two, three. Oh yeah, Leon steers you in the right direction. The price is amazing. It was uh, 45 baht for the cow soy with chicken and 50 baht for the cow soy with beef. I splurge got the cow soy with beef. We're talking, you're talking like a less, about a dollar fifty for a bowl of rich, delicious, hearty, northern Thai cow soy right here in Chiang Mai. It's gorgeous out. Best time of year to come to Chiang Mai is, uh, I would say, October, November, let's say November, December, January. The weather's perfect. Any time's great, except burning season but those months are spectacular. Number two on the list is a little bit controversial. Some people say this place is a little bit too touristy, but I say screw that. When I went there, it blew my mind. This is the most famous cow soy spot in the, the Niman area of Chiang Mai. It's a little bit thinner in here than the kind of creamier versions that we often love, but it still packs a really, really good flavor. So let's go in and give it a try. This is a medium sized place with a nice patio for outdoor seating, but we went back into the smaller indoor area where the locals were enjoying their bowls and Haley was excited for another of her own. They have all kinds of variations here like the classic cow soy with chicken, but I went for the one with stewed beef. We put in our order, he cut the shallots, she added the broth, and he brought us two bowls of paradise. 
Haley added the goodies, squeezed in some lime, and we ate it all up. It was a bit pricier here, though. We got a cow soy each and one water, 225 baht. Great little place, but here's a tip for you. You're gonna wanna come a little before the lunch rush or maybe a little after the lunch rush or dinner rush. This place is popular. Cow soy ni man, come and check it out if you're ever in this area and craving the Northern Thai signature. Are you getting hungry yet? If not, this next place, it's gonna get your mouth watering for sure. We're down to number one, and for me, it's not even close. This place is ridiculous. This place is called Khao Soi Kun Yai, and it's one of the most heavily reviewed spots. I think they have like 1,500 Google reviews. It's just a classic, old school, Northern Thai Khao Soi shop. They serve it with beef, they serve it with chicken, they serve it with pork today we've come late they close by 2 p.m. and they sell out of a lot of things pretty quickly so they only have the pork left today this is gonna be the first time that we've ever had cow soy pork so I'm looking forward to that we're just inside the moat here in uh, Old Town Chiang Mai and uh, you can see it's located right beside this nice beautiful temple it's just this little spot here. You can pull in, there's a little bit of parking there. This is the type of place that you just know they've been serving up the same family recipe for decades. It's a more rustic, homemade taste. And if you're wondering how that makes Haley feel. It's only about 50 or 60 baht per bowl of this silky goodness. I should mention that that last place, Khao Soi Kun Yai, you have to get there early because they sell out most days by 1 p.m. So what Haley and I like to do is get up, skip breakfast, and head in there about 11 a.m. to make sure that we don't get shut out. Just a little tip for you. Now, the two questions I have for you. Number one, where's your favorite cow soy place in all of Chiang Mai? And number two, Where's your favorite cow soy place in Bangkok? I'm here right now, I can't get to any of those places and I'm craving it. So drop a comment and let me know. And if you're looking to find any of the places on this list and hundreds more local Thai restaurants in Chiang Mai, Phuket, Samui, or Bangkok, just download my app. It's called Teeny. It's on the uh, Apple or Android store and I got hundreds of local Thai restaurants in there that are hard to find. So I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you enjoy your next bowl of cow soy. Cheers.